Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha, I am your host, and in today's video we are going to be continuing the beta review series where I take a look at different beta tanks and let you know the pros and cons and should you get one or potentially not. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of them and check out the playlist if you would like to see all the tanks I have previously reviewed. So without further ado, let's get started. So the tank that we are going to be reviewing, and man, this is a workout, is the Beta Premium Beta Kit. Did I just say Premium Beta Beta Kit? This is the Beta Premium Aquarium Kit. My goodness, I can't words very well. But this is a newer tank that Fluval developed with some changes that would hopefully make this a more appropriate setup or bettas. Now this is definitely a smaller tank. It's a 2.6 gallons. And in my beta series, we tend to focus on all the smaller tanks. So let's kind of take a deep dive and take a closer look to see how this holds up and what kind of improvements ah, they have made. Let's go, let's do this. Let's take a closer look at the packaging. So the front shows you an example of a planted beta setup with some live plants, as well as some driftwood and some sand. And it talks about the custom beta filtration, the LED light that's included, the preset heater that's also included, and the fact that it's 2.6 US gallons or 10 liters, but it does tell you that it is 3.65 US gallons max. So that means that even though the tank itself is 2.6 gallons plus the compartment that holds all the filter equipment, it can be up to 3.5 gallons ish. So it's over the recommended minimum. And the other side is just a different beta and it gives you an example of a tank set up with plastic plants. So now we're gonna take a look at the other side that provides you with some information about beta splendens, so about wild bettas and different tail types. You can definitely pause this at any time so you can read the information that talks about beta diets and recommends their food and talks about water recommending their water chemicals and gives you a list of all of the included supplies with the kit. Now we are getting to the part that I am most excited about, and that is their new custom beta filtration. A lot of the times we have to DIY filtration options for ourselves as beta keepers. And in this situation, you don't have to do that because they made a design that will hopefully create much slower flow that will be comfortable. There will still be enough water movement so you can adequately filter the tank, but don't have to worry about your beta being pushed around and not have to modify the tank yourself. So this is really nice because a lot of beginner fish keepers don't really know that they need to worry about flow in their tank. So this is great. You're listening to what the consumers need. You're providing things that are needed. Uh, there's a lot of fun filter options that you can add on to the heaters there. I feel like the intent to create a good beginner tank, an intro tank, is really there so so far so good very very positive thoughts and at the top they show you the dimensions if you would like to take a closer look at that dun, dun, dun. now is a magical moment where we will take out the tank so we can take a look at it and see what it looks like and all the parts that are included so i was very excited about all the things even the cardboard i like cardboard it's very useful here are some of the components and i put the tank on the side and just gently slid it out that way because that was just the easiest way so i don't have to lift it up and then i get to move the box out of the way take all the plastic and all the little protective thingies luckily i was glad that the glass itself was in good shape but to my surprise at the very bottom of the tank is where they put the lid itself for for the tank and even though it was in a little protective thingy unfortunately during shipping it cracked so at that point I decided to check out the second tank that I got because I was really lucky and Fluval sent me two of the same tanks to review and I know that accidents happen you know especially when you ship things it's out of your control it depends on the shipping person so let's take a look and see what happened to the other tank so here I am unboxing the second tank to see if hopefully the lid was in one piece for that one and I took it out the same way, removed all the plastic and all the bits and pieces but this time when I set this one down I noticed right away that it wobbled and you know your tank is not supposed to wobble. So I was investigating and the plastic part 
broke off unfortunately during shipping so here i am kind of investigating checking it out seeing what is happening with the tank and then i decided to check the lid for this one and this one was also cracked as well now my theory as to why is because when it's packed it's underneath the tank and that puts pressure on it of course from all the weight of the glass my recommendation would be is if it would be possible to keep this lid inside the tank when you package it this way it will be protected and there won't be any pressure being put on it and that could be potentially a simple solution to prevent future breakage although this could have been like a one-off thing that happened to me and maybe it won't happen to other people but i thought it was still important to note so the front compartment is separate from the rear and the back is super, super cool and exciting. I've never really had such a cool back compartment. I know Fluval tanks are known for having these nice little setups in the back. So this is the outtake. It comes with a little polishing sponge that will buffer the flow, which is super, super cool. I accidentally dropped it in the back. Then we have the heater wrapped in here. And then we have this awesome compartment with the sponge, some carbon, as well as some biological media. So when when you clean that little sponge in the future when you service your tank you don't wash the biological media that helps preserve all your bacteria and then of course carbon is usually very helpful especially at the beginning when you're setting up a brand new tank that will help absorb some of the ammonia and then this is the heater that comes with it which I was really excited about because you can hide it in the back and it's really pretty and you never get to see it and it just looks really fancy so it's like a really nice clean setup and I am I'm very excited about that. The mystery objects that were in the nice little packaged boxes were also kind of fun to open up. So right here, I am going to first open up the first one. And that one just has the little tiny pump that you will then later on attach and that will kind of rotate all the water for you and kind of circulate it throughout the rear filter. And then this part right here is your little itsy bitsy lamp and it's super cute it has four leds it's just meant to be a really simple touch lamp that is just supposed to be a low light setup the plug-in is a usb plug-in and here is the little power usb part that comes with it as well so very simple light for a simple low light setup and once again a closer look at the filtration and here i am going to be assembling it in a very simple way so this is how you attach the little tube the little outtake tube to the little pump it's really not as hard as it looks super super easy it's not very hard to assemble then here's a little polishing sponge and that's really nice too because that will help really keep your water super super clean it goes in there nicely it's supposed to suction cup in there but i didn't want to do that just yet in case i want to remove some stuff and mess around and then the filter fits in there not the filter the heater the heater i messed up fits in nice comfortably back there and you don't see it so that's super cool so right over here is the intake so that's where the water is going to get sucked up and then this is the outtake so this is where all the water is going to exit and which is nice because this is really large so there's going to be the water is going to come out um hopefully a lot more slowly and more diffused so you're not going to have you know a little crazy washing machine for your better to go on a little spinny spinny journey so that is a very cool change that they implemented let me try to attach the light as well so we can see what it looks like with the light as well as the lid so i just plugged in the light so we can try it oh there it is so it's very easy to turn on and off i wish it had a timer that was already included. What I'm actually using to provide extra light is I'm actually using one of the Fluval lights and I'm gonna turn it off right now. It's kind of cool with my, with my phone so you can see how bright this is. So I have this pretty cool Fluval light that is controlled on my phone. Super bright, super awesome. It's a great plant grow light but this little guy is not very strong, which, you know, is probably as it was intended. My one concern is I really wish I had a timer that was built in. I feel like that could have been an extra piece of technology and for the price you're paying for this entire tank, it's a small thing that's like such a really good convenience. And I mean, you already have the Fluval 
app so you can make this work with the Fluval app. That would have been so, so awesome. So what I'm gonna do right now is do a test fill. I'm gonna fill this tank up all the way. I'm gonna plug in the filter and we're gonna see how the water flow is moving around in here so we can see if it's truly a much more calmer flow or if we're gonna get the, you know, the typical thing that happens with a lot of these smaller tanks where you get the little washing machine spinny cycle, which is great for some fish that really like currents, but not for betta. So let's fill this up and see how it will do. So for a test, I'm gonna put a little floating plant so you can get a little bit of reference to how the water's flowing. And let's plug in. So I plugged it in and yeah, the flow is actually quite gentle. It's pretty nice. Yeah, look at it. You could see the little floating plant just moving around, but it's going at quite a slow speed. So this definitely is gentle filtration that is going to move water around and you know clean your water circulate it so it can go through the filtration system but at the same time is not really going to be pushing your fish around i'm going to see what happens when this little guy makes his way over there see he goes on his little journey little little plant on a journey because then we'll see once he gets closer how much push there will be the most exciting thing I'm doing tonight. Watching my floating plant. Go, little floating plant, go. Oh, you're not even going there. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna put you there. Okay, what happens? So here, yeah, it goes a little faster, but this is not nearly as bad as a lot of other filters. So pretty good, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by that, I think. That is definitely a pro and something that I wish to see them implementing in tanks in the future because I think this works pretty well. So here is my first impression of the tank. So for a beginner beta keeper that is too hesitant to buy a larger tank, if they're gonna go for a smaller tank, I think this is an adequate size since it does meet the minimum. I like that this is glass, but I don't really like this bottom portion, which is very, it's very plasticky. So I mentioned this bottom before because this really concerned me. If you can see this bends pretty easily. So this is not a very strong plastic. And my concern was, even though I filmed it up and nothing happened, I did test full, filling up the tank. That's why this is wet. I was concerned because roughly the 2.6 gallons, give or take, is gonna be about 18 pounds of weight. Um, obviously, if you fill up the whole thing, it might be a tiny bit more with the filter. And I think it goes up to like three gallons potentially. And then if you add rocks or anything to it, that could add to more weight. And I'm very nervous, even though this is a small tank, I'm very nervous with it bearing so much weight on such a like a flimsy plastic and also moving all of the weight of the tank to the edges where it distributes around edges. So when I opened up this tank to see if the lid was intact, and unfortunately this one was in bad shape as well, this was a problem I encountered where this was already from shipping completely, it came off. So there's my concern. If this can break off during shipping from just the weight of this tank being moved around or the weight of one tank sitting on top of this tank, then this worries me that um, when you put water in here, this may potentially break. I feel like this is an easy fix, hopefully. Like just, just remove, just remove this ship it just have this bottom part maybe like make it nice and flush so that the weight distribution could be good and then oh here we can see another part where this broke right off see so this part just breaks and i really worry i know this was an accident so this might not happen with other things that are shipping but i just i really worry anytime with my tanks i always think about weight distribution and i worry about the materials and for the price point being a hundred dollar tank 
I feel like, you know, this should be a sturdy material so this can't happen. Because other than that, I mean, I like the, the compartment for the back. The filter is good. The glass is good. You know, the light is fine. So every, there's a lot of good pros to this tank. This is a good tank, but this, this needs to be fixed, I think. And I feel like the lids themselves, I don't know what they, oh, they actually fit right here. So in the future, maybe, would it be easier if when you ship it, can you keep it inside here, secure it, you know, add the little two boxes with the other things that you're shipping and just put your foam. And then this way, this could be secured because when you have the entire tank resting on this, like it was for both of these tanks in the box, this is most likely gonna break. And you don't want pieces breaking for people because it means a lot of returns. It's just, you know, you're gonna lose a lot of money. And also, you know, it's not fun for people that are making their purchases to have something that's broken. So these are my suggestions uh, going forward. I think some of these would make this tank just a lot more worth it because I think that there were a lot of thought that was put into this in terms of the filtration. I think that was really great. I'm really happy with the filtration. So I really hope that potentially uh, maybe these tweaks can be applied to this. And with these two things, I think this could be a really potentially good beginner beta tank. I hope that you enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I really like to hear your opinions, especially if you have had this tank already and have some experience of your own uh, with using it for bettas or other critters. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one.